Hi, my name is Jacob Bikowski and I'm an Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. This is the second video in a two-part series on the thread feature. In the first video, we looked at how to create threads using the thread feature, but we noticed that there wasn't any run out. In this video, we will be exploring one possible solution for creating the run out, but feel free to come up with solutions on your own. I'm going to start by making a plane parallel to the top base and coincident to a point on the profile. And then I'm going to sketch in that plane. I'm going to convert the diameter here into a sketch on that plane and then use that circle to drive a helix. I'm going to drive a helix with the same pitch I used before, 0.15 inches, with a 1 8 revolution or 0.125 revolutions, starting at 0. And instead of going clockwise, I'm going to go counterclockwise so the leading comes up and through here. I'll hide this plane for now. Then I'm going to use the 3D sketch. And I'm going to use the three-point arc tool. I'm going to start at a point, that same point, and I'm going to tab my way into the ZX, snap coincident to the end point of that curve that I created, and then place an arc. I'm going to hit Escape, hold Control, and make that arc tangent to the helical line to give it tangency and fully define the guide in which I'm going to, or the sweet path that I'm going to use for this lead in. So we'll rebuild that. New since 2017, I can just use a face for the profile. So I'm going to select swept boss base, choose this face as the profile, choose this line as the guide or as the path and the guide curves I'm going ahead going to go ahead and select the helix and spiral and hit the green check and I'll go ahead and hide that helix for clarity now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side but in reverse The first thing I always do is try to organize my tree. All of the features below the thread uh, should be organized in a folder, or I like to organize them into a folder by shift selecting the top and bottom, right mouse clicking, and selecting Add to New Folder, which I'll call Runout. It's also a good idea to take performance into consideration, especially when modeling threads. Let's select Evaluate, Performance Evaluation, and take a look at, at the rebuild time. You'll notice that complicated geometry such as fillets or threads and these sweeps uh, should be at the end of the feature tree to minimize rebuild impact. Also, let's consider whether this is necessary. We may want to place this in an assembly where I just want to make the concentric face and I don't need to necessarily show the threads if a, a cap is on top of it or just to say performance. So something I always I usually do is I'll open up the configuration manager, make a new configuration called simplified. And then simply right mouse click on the thread feature and suppress it. 
Since the run out is a child feature, uh, I now have minimized rebuild time. If I select performance evaluation, I now have a rebuild time of 0 0.06 seconds. And I can always access my threads by double clicking the configuration and taking a look. And we can see with the threads, it has a total rebuild time of 0 0.69 seconds versus 0 0.06 seconds without the threads. My name is Jacob Bakowski, and this has been a SolidWorks quick tip from GoEngineer. Uh, thank you, and have a wonderful day.